Hello everyone, and welcome to my jail cell, or uh, dorm room here at the University of Maryland. While I haven't been at home for a while, I'm still making the most of the space and equipment that I have with me to make as high quality videos as possible. That said, I wanted to make a quick dorm tour video and show you all how I make videos in my college dorm that look similar to those I was able to make in my studio at home. Let's take a look. Starting off near the entrance of the room, I have a few photo albums set up on my dresser as decoration. Here's a book of my trip to Australia last year for Worlds. Next to the dresser, I have a mini fridge with all my essentials piled on top. Wallet, keys, masks, and snacks. I also like to keep my fridge fully stocked uh, with ice cubes. On the desk next to the fridge, I have a monitor and some cubes stored at the top that were too tall to fit into my main cube drawer. Connected to the monitor, I have my Wii, purely for playing Mario Kart, Super Mario Bros, and Wii Sports Resort, my personal favorites. Over on my main desk, I turn the hutch upside down and I'm using it as a laptop stand. I've loved having this arrangement here because it gives me so much more desk space. On the bottom of the desk, I keep some random math papers that I didn't know where else to put, as well as a few of the puzzles that I've been playing with the most recently. And yes, I am using an Apple Magic Mouse and keyboard because I place my laptop so far away from my hands, but these accessories work well and didn't cost me anything. I'm borrowing them from my grandmother since she has an iMac but didn't use the Magic Mouse or keyboard, so shout out to Nana for letting me use these things for the time being. Over behind my desk, I have my keyboard. I use my bed as a piano bench to save space, and this setup is actually pretty comfortable. On the wall behind the second bed, I have some lights hanging down from the ceiling. Honestly, I mainly just use these to spice up the backgrounds of my videos, I don't really turn them on very often otherwise. In the corner of the room, I keep a lot of my camera gear set up and ready to go whenever I want to film a video. The room itself isn't that glamorous, there's pipes running along the ceiling, and the walls are made of cinder block, but honestly, these things don't bother me. I'm really not that picky. That's everything on the perimeter of the room, but that leaves me with a decent sized empty space in the middle of the room. This is where I set up to film. I start by setting up my ring light since the overhead light in the dorm is pretty dim. And then I add in my camera tripod and filming table, which is actually a piano bench. I put my cubicle mat on top of the bench for a nice clean background, and that's basically the whole setup. The only extra thing I have to do is plug my camera into my monitor so I can see what I'm filming. Unfortunately, due to the way I positioned the camera, the image on the monitor is upside down. But this doesn't really matter too much because most of the time, all I really need to see is whether the cube is in frame and whether the shot is in focus. Since the piano bench is near to the floor, I end up kneeling on a pillow on the floor to film, which puts my hands at the perfect height to cube on the bench and puts my mouth at a perfect height to speak straight into the shotgun mic on my camera. If I ever want to film a talking headshot, I usually set up my camera on top of the mini fridge so I can get a nice clean shot of my face with the lights slightly blurred out in the background. So as you can see, I've been able to replicate my normal filming conditions fairly well, just with the loss of a bit of light. As of the day of uploading this video, I'm actually now back at home for winter break, so I will be able to start filming at home soon. I'm currently making some modifications to my home studio, so it will look a bit different the next time you all see it, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. That's all for this compact dorm setup tour, and I hope you all found it interesting. Thanks for watching.